In this lesson, we're looking at the granddaddy strum pattern, one of the most important strum patterns you can know on guitar. It's gonna sound like this. We're only gonna use three chords for this entire lesson. We got the G chord, the C add nine, and a D sus four. So first of all, let's just start with the G chord. So the G chord is gonna be this one. It's gonna be the four finger G chord. Now there's other ways you can play the G chord, but for this lesson, I want you to do this one because this will be a nice transition from the G to the C add nine and to the D sus four. But let's just stay on the G chord for now. The right hand is gonna sound like this. Let me play it slow, just on a G chord. Three and. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with a down stroke on beat one, followed by a down up on beat two. So down, up. Then you're gonna hold that. And in the music, it would be indicated by a tie. And then you're gonna follow it up by an up, down, up. And that's on the and of three, beat four, and the and of four. So if I was to count it real slow, it'd be one, two, and three, and four, and. And that's gonna be one measure. Now the strum pattern, if I do it slow, is this. Ready, and down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so let's just do that nice and slow on the G chord. Three, four, and one, two, Three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up. Now in the progression I'm playing, we're gonna do the G chord for two measures. So let's do that. Three and Now the next chord is C add nine. And from the G chord, all I have to do is take my first and my second finger and simply move them down a string. So now my middle finger is on the fifth string, third fret. My first finger is on the fourth string, second fret. Open third, and then my third and fourth fingers here are still on the same two strings. So third finger's on the second string, third fret. Pinky's on the first string, third fret. And this is... C add nine. This is just gonna get one measure, so let's do that. Ready, and. And the last measure is a D sus four. And all I have to do for this one is play open fourth string. My first finger moves to the third string second fret, and then you'll notice that my third and fourth fingers are still on strings one and two, just like the other two chords. D sus four. Let's play that for one measure. Ready, and one three and four and then you go back to the G. So let's try all three chords with the strum pattern. Remember, G chord twice, C add nine, and then D sus four. Ready, and. Now C add nine, D sus four. Now repeat it again, so it's gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up. C at nine. What you wanna keep in mind here is you wanna do a really nice loose wrist, right? It comes right here, because it wants to be really nice and smooth, especially as we increase the tempo, that loose wrist is gonna sound really good and just make it sound really nice and legato, right? Or long and smooth. All right, so let's try it now. We're gonna bump up the tempo a little bit. We're gonna do the same chords, right? G, G, C add nine, D sus four. A one, two, a one, two, ready, and. Going. 
So you're gonna see this strum pattern in tons of songs and also works great if you are learning a song and don't know the strum pattern. Try this one out and it's gonna work. All right, that's gonna do it for this lesson and we'll see you next time. Thank you.